This is Twit. I am Rosemary Orchard and oh, Micah, I love a good book. You could say I'm a bookworm. So, you know, maybe time to get back down to earth. <laughs> uh, yes, it is. There, there are so many uh, methods by which one can sort of consume knowledge. But uh, honestly, I, I still to this day feel like one of the best ways to uh, learn something new is through the use of a book, a good book on a specific subject. And uh, I mean, it's a way to transport to a different world. It's a way to, uh, you know, live vicariously through other people. Books are great, you know, books are just great. And they can be helpful in terms of education and learning. Uh, and that, of course, comes with the built in tools that are available right on your iPhone or your iPad uh, with a little app called Books uh, from Apple. And Books is, as you might imagine, the way that you can uh, maintain a library of books and PDFs and other items uh, on your device. So here I have pulled up the books app on an iPad. Uh, and this is for the that test account that I have. So you'll notice that the library is not chock full of content. Um, here you can get audiobooks, um, which is my preferred way of reading. You can uh, find some free books that are on the store. Uh, so let's see, some new books include, uh, some of these look like they might be romance novels. Um, let's just see what else is here. Uh, you can kind of, I like that they've got the first in a series books so that you kind of, uh, hmm, is this one for me? Is this not for me? And then you can get it and decide if it is something that you want. Um, and so I'm trying to find something that's not a romance novel. Uh, well, I can to... make a recommendation for you, Micah, of something that you Please can search do. for in the uh, the bookstore. If you search for Apple Script 123 by Cel Segoyan, that's there in the, uh, the Apple uh, Books store available to uh, purchase and download. It's a great book if you want to learn some Apple Script. Beautiful. So here's Apple Script one, two, three. Um, and yes, as Rosemary's pointed out, uh, it's available to purchase for $28.99. You can add it to your uh, want to read list and you can also get a sample of the book so that it is um, you know, a way to kind of decide if this is something that you would be into. It says choose a theme, a page turn animation and more to make each uh, book perfect for you. So here I'm kind of uh, swiping through the book and finding what is available in the uh, sample here, which of course includes a foreword and a little bit of information. There we go, instant Apple script. Uh, you get some information about it and it has this lovely page turn animation, um, which you can decide if that's for you. Uh, here you can uh, go into themes and settings, you can choose uh, the quiet theme, the paper theme, the calm theme, the bold theme, the focus theme. Um, you can change between uh, night mode or dark mode rather and light mode. You can decide whether you want to do a slide for your page turn animation, the curl, which makes it feel more like a book or just have no page turn animation. Um, and then you can choose if you want to have a two page uh, view in um, in landscape mode, or if you want to have a one page view, change the uh, size of the text. And then I can pop back into the book and uh, start reading it here. And this, um, oh, I see. And this is now uh, scrolling. So it essentially makes it one entire uh, scrollable page uh, mm -hmm. versus that flip view, which is what, what I had before. So there we go back to that nice flip view. Um, now, let me go back to the uh, main page here, the, the home screen kind of of the app, because uh, on the side, you can see the audiobook store where you can purchase and listen to audiobooks right here in the app. Uh, the bookstore, of course, 
contains those books. And then you have your library of contents. Now, what's great about this is um, this is where you can see, for example, the samples that you've downloaded, but it's also a place where you can store PDFs. So if you, for example, uh, go to Apple's support pages and get the downloadable PDF uh, for some of its products, there are still products that have product manuals that are PDFs that you can download. You can get those there. Um, audio books are here. Your books are here. Books that you've finished, books that you want to read if you've marked that. And then, of course, all. I've got that sample there. But yes, let's actually go to the Apple Store and type in the word manual and see. Uh, there we go. The iPhone user guide. So we can look at Apple and see what uh, is available here. And we've got different um, iPhone user guides, iOS 14.7, iOS 10.3, the Swift programming language, the iPad user guide of different uh, years, the user guide for the MacBook Pro. Um, let's try to find a... Uh, oh, here's here's a good option, the Pages user guide. So I will get this, which will then download it, um, and I'll touch ID to get the book. And of course, this is available for free. Uh, and then it's going to download, and that should be stored in my books because I'm not just downloading a PDF. So now I can tap into this Pages user guide and learn all about pages right here. It's got screenshots of how pages looks, uh, being able to choose a template, choosing styling options, um, making different changes to the layout of the page, uh, adding galleries and uh, setting up templates. Basically everything you could need to know uh, to use pages on iPad. And then of course, down at the bottom here, you can see a, a percentage showing that I have uh, gone through 6% of this book. Uh, I have the option to remove it. I can add it to a special collection if I want, mark it as finished, rate and review it. Uh, and then also in the suggestions section, I can say, hey, this is something that I like, so please suggest more like this. So I can start to kind of learn what you're into and use that to inform uh, what you might want to buy. Um, so that is uh, Apple Books, although I'm curious, Rosemary, if there's anything else you wanted to say about Apple Books. Uh, nothing in particular other than that it's often the default place where PDFs open, uh, which can be a little frustrating for some folks. Um, and so unfortunately, if you're dealing with that issue, the only way to fix that is to train your device by tapping and holding on a, a, a PDF and saying, open this in another app and picking whatever app that is. Um, but you should remember that on the books store, there are just like Micah got the pages user guide there. There are a lot of user guides for Apple software and hardware. So every year they release a new iPhone user guide and a new iOS user guide and iPad OS user guide. And if you've got friends and family members who really like to go through and read all of the details about these things, then that could be a great place to point them uh, because that is a free resource provided by Apple. And it's the same as the one on their website. They just produce it into a nice little book for you so that you can read it either with that lovely page turn animation or just maybe with scrolling, whatever works best for you and your brain. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. Your IT skills are outdated in about 18 months. Stay ahead of the curve and strengthen your IT expertise with affordable certification-based learning that will launch or advance your career. Individuals use the code TWIT30 for 30% off a standard or premium individual IT pro membership at go.acilearning.com slash twit. 